trying to be out here smelling funky? You, not me. So it better not be you either. None of us should be wanting to smell like that. I'm telling you. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I want to start off with, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. But today we're going to be talking about feminine hygiene. Everything you need to smell good, look good, taste good, all of those things. We're going to be talking about it internally as well as externally. I've got some very, very good tips you don't want to miss. So stay tuned to the end because you know we all like to be looking good, smelling good, and you always like to hear somebody say, ooh, you taste good. So stay tuned with me. Thank you for watching. Okay, first we're going to go over externally. The small things we all can do to make sure our feminine hygiene is right because you never want someone to say, ooh, what's that smell when they walk past you, when you walk past them, when you're sitting by them, anything or even when you're getting it in good, you don't want to smell funky. So please stay tuned for these tips. The first thing is you always got to keep you some wipes. I use the honey pot wipes, but a lot of girls, they use baby wipes. I think the best, best thing to use are the honey pot wipes because they're very good for your vaginal area and that's specifically what they are made for. They have you smelling good, feeling good, it's just a quick refresher after your bath, after your shower. So make sure you stay really clean and also they are good for after you use the restroom, you go to the toilet and tinkle, you can wipe yourself with those, get a quick refresher, especially if you're at someone's house. Tissue may not be the best, best option, but of course we can use it sometimes but make sure you're getting those wipes in daily. Wipe yourself down. It's never too much. And speaking of honey pot, those are also the menstrual products that I use. We do not need to be using always no more. It's 2022, we should have learned better than that by now. Those always products will have you sweating, it'll have you bleeding more and all of that. So just please look it up and I'll also do a video on that if you need me to. But for now, we're sticking to the Honey Pot products. They'll prevent you from having any type of smell while you're on that time of the month. They'll still heavy duty if that's what you need. And they'll also hold you in really good if you know what I'm talking about. You won't have any accidental leakage. They'll have you feeling good. It feels like mint when you put them on. It feels so good and refreshing. I am telling you, it is the best thing you could do. It'll keep you healthier while you're on that time of the month. And it won't help your hormones to go all crazy because a lot of times when you wear those mainstream pads that we've always been wearing, those mainstream tampons, they will have your hormones so out of whack. And it's already enough going on at that time of the month. You don't need anything extra, anything more to upset you if you're looking or smelling crazy. So please, please, please invest in some honey pot products. You won't forget it. They're all natural and organic. They have the ones with mint and they also have the ones without, just in case you don't like that tingling, cooling sensation. Another thing, girls, is this one right here is so simple. We should all be doing it anyway, but please bathe and shower daily and regularly. I am telling you, just a little bit or a lot of bit actually, but warm water goes a long, long way. So please soak that kitty, wash her down, everything you can use a little bit of soap but make sure it's only for the outside area do not put no soap on the inside i didn't know that was a thing like ever until a lot of girls were telling me like yes some girls they really do put the soap on the inside i don't know anything about that i was always told 
to do the outside and around and everything. And make sure you use a very, very gentle soap. Honey Pot has soaps for that. Um, you can also use Dove Sensitive Wash. I use Dove Sensitive Wash because that works just fine for me. And you can also use the baby soap. So please, please, please make sure you're getting that in every day because you cannot be healthy and smelling good without the bare minimum of some water. Like, <laughs> and make sure after that good wash down, that good water, that good bath, shower, whatever, make sure you're also using your wipes for that double cleansing. You'll notice a huge difference, I am telling you. You will not have any bacteria, any odors, anything like that, anything left over in your underwear. Speaking of underwear, this is what you need. These type of underwear are just soft, they're very breathable, and those are the type of panties that we need, ladies, trust me. You don't want to get anything too thick, anything satiny, anything that can make you sweat. If it makes your, if the material makes your body sweat, your underarm sweat, sweat or smell or anything of that nature, what do you think it's going to do to that cat? So please trust me. You don't want to be wearing those thick, thick, thick granny panties. Those are not breathable. Or it is certain type of underwear that are breathable, and for most women. They are lace, like really breathable, good quality lace. And also, it's good to go commando most of the times when you can. Like when you're going to sleep, when you're going to bed for the night, when you're walking around the house, all of that. But no one told you to do it while you're wearing jeans. Like, nah, we don't do that one. We're not going to mess up and scar up the little cootie cat. So please trust me, like I said. Get some nice, breathable underwear that you can wear often. Cause she has to breathe, she has to get some air. Like she can't be happy and healthy and she can't breathe. Like, are you happy when you can't breathe? Okay, I ain't think so. And one more thing for my ladies, how we can keep it looking, feeling right, feeling tight externally. Remember to keep your hair trimmed. A lot of girls have to keep it completely waxed, completely shaven. And I'm going to tell you why. Hair attracts sweat most of the time. Sometimes we're lucky. We don't have an issue. But most of the time, women have that issue. The hair will attract sweat. And if you sweat too much, you know there's going to be odor and irritation and other issues. So please keep it trimmed down as low as possible. Or if you need to get it waxed, get it right, get it smooth and looking good, do that as well. It's not only for looking good purposes and the aesthetics, it's for feeling good, it's for hygiene, it's for odor, it's for sweat, all of that. We don't want none of those bad issues. Because like I said, we always got to taste good and smell good for those right moments. And even when you're just at home chilling, you don't want to be just smelling funky at home and all that. And then poof, all of a sudden you smelling good when it's time for you to go out and do your thing and all that. That's not hygiene. You're still not clean. You still need to do something about that. You need a different change of lifestyle or something, girl. Okay, now we're going to move to internally, which is one of my favorite, favorite parts, my favorite routines, I must say. And the first thing I have to tell you is, y'all guessed it, or y'all should have guessed it, drink your water. You see this? This bottle is empty. You can also buy um, the tall bottles on Amazon, they have the timestamps on them telling you when to drink your water, how much you're drinking, all that. But however you choose to do it, a jug or whatever, it does not matter. Just please get your water in. You should be drinking half your body weight in water. So right after this video, I'm going to need you to go and measure half your body weight in water. Or matter of fact, right now, right now, pause this video, ladies. What I'm going to need you to do is go get on this scale, 
Don't be scared. Don't be trying to avoid it and all that. But go get on that scale. Look at your weight. Whatever your weight is, cut that in half and then measure how much water in ounces you should be drinking. For me, it's easier with the individual water bottles, but I am gonna get one off Amazon because they're so cute and I love them so much. And who doesn't wanna be cute while staying healthy? So, like I keep preaching to y'all, drink your water. But I'll wait till you pause this video Go weigh yourself and go measure everything. I'll wait. All right, now that we're back, remember to drink your water because water not only keeps everything just, remember to drink your water because water keeps everything hydrated. Your vaginal area, your hair, your skin, everything water do, does your body right it is like medicine to your soul medicine to your body everything and it will have you tasting so good if you drink the right amount of water you will not be dry down there you will not have any issues getting super soaked i am letting y'all know ladies like this is so simple so needed you hear this all the time every day just please go get you some water and drink it often keep it with you you know you're drinking the right amount of water not only if it's half your body weight but also if when you go tinkle it's closer to clear i always start my water off in the morning i get straight up and i drink at least half a bottle or a full bottle of water it gives me so much energy just renews my body and everything and i know that it's renewing my cootie cat so baby please like and we always got to keep the cootie cat renewed so yes water is my best friend it is her best friend as well so listen to what i'm telling y'all and I gotta go get some more water. Actually, be right back. Another thing that keeps you feeling and keeps her feeling and smelling good and especially tasting good is sea moss gel. That is like the holy grail for basically everything. It'll keep your immune system so perfect, so right. And as women, we have to have a really good immune system really good reproductive system because she is very sensitive the womb is very sensitive as well as miss kitty so please go get you some sea moss gel it is available like everywhere now it is a couple of places by my house i can get it from but what i do is get up every day and it's the first thing i put on my stomach sea moss gel and water and I take about two or three tablespoons of it, wash it down with some water, and we're done. It's very, very tasteless, or you can get some that's flavored if you want, like a strawberry or a mango flavor. I always get the original tasteless, flavorless one. It's better for me, and it has more nutrients in it. It keeps her smelling so good, tasting good, and it's like the Viagra of the earth. <laughs> the most natural, I guess you could call it Viagra because it keeps you feeling real good, real frisky. Y'all know what I mean. And it keeps you soaked at the right times. I tell you, you not have an issue if you stay on your sea moss regimen like I'm telling you. And another thing about sea moss, it makes your hair grow really long, really thick. I always get comments and compliments about what I do to make my hair grow so thick, so fast. And I'm telling you, it's the sea moss because it keeps me hydrated and it keeps a lot of minerals and nutrients in my body. So please go do your research and go look into it. I am a big advocate for it. I 
preach about it all the time. You never ever go back. I actually need to stop and get some today, but we're being very lazy since it's the weekend and I just want to sleep in. But please trust me, it'll just change your body for the better, especially as a woman in this year of the tw of the Lord's 2022. We gotta be looking good. The skin gotta be right. She gotta be tight. All of that gotta be feeling good. Gotta have energy in our body. Hair gotta be just flourishing and growing. Like we cannot grow in life if the hair ain't even growing. So please go pick you up some sea moss. Take it every single day on an empty stomach so your body can absorb everything. Take it in the middle of the day. Your body won't absorb everything. So a pro tip, I'm telling you. All right, another thing we want to get in every day, ladies, is our fruits and vegetables. Not just pineapples, but we need a plethora of fruits and of vegetables. I love vegetables. I will basically eat any vegetable. I love the flavor, the crunch, everything. Season it with just a very little salt and pepper, and I am sold. Fruits and vegetables have so many minerals and nutrients in it, and it will definitely contribute to you smelling good and being healthy and cleansing your body. And when your body is being cleansed, she is being cleansed from internally to externally. The number one fruit I eat, it may sound strange, but are limes, like real lime juice. I take a lime shot every morning, get a lime, squeeze all the juice out of it into a cup, and I drink it. This is a game changer. Like, you're like I could not believe it when I started doing it. Like somebody told me to start doing it for my menstrual health and for my womb health. I'm like, they must be lying. They they crazy. Like. This ain't gonna work, but I'll try anything because I really do want to be healthy and I want to be my best and I want my womb to be as healthy as possible. When I tell you this changed so much for me, my periods were shorter. They were much, much, much more easier. I really didn't have any cramps at all for the month. It was so amazing and also it gives you energy it's like sh a shot of coffee in the morning but it's very natural very very healthy for you like when you notice the results i promise you won't go back and start tasting good too like everybody thought i was so weird but just loving lime juice like when i tell you like go to the store and get you some limes right now like get you like I would say two weeks worth and I promise you you'll start noticing a difference and make sure you have some ready and stock for when it's that time of the month ladies because like I said we have to do our best to keep our womb healthy so we can stay healthy mentally physically so we can feel good so we can function well and another thing that contributes to cleaning you out internally so everything and your kitty cat can stay healthy and well are these right here i never go without some type of herbal supplement and this is for my ladies like girl i'm telling you these are the best I consulted with a real herbalist for this and they told me to get these like oh my god it's called women's best friend by crystal star and the ingredients it has in it is golden seal Jamaican dogwood wild yam uva ursi red raspberry you know what red raspberry is like the queen like we need her Don Quayro, False Unicorn, Bless Tizzle, like those are just a few and it's really for your time of the month. We have to be, like I keep preaching, we have to be very, very healthy during that time and everything has to stay balanced. You do not want your hormones getting out of balance because when your hormones get out of balance, 
you get out of balance, your day gets out of balance, and it causes other issues. Endometriosis can develop as well as tumors, cysts, and cancer. So please do not let your hormones go out of whack and stay out of whack. And this is one of the main ways I stay healthy. Like I said, a herbalist told me about it. I have him on speed dial. He is the absolute best where I'm from. I'm in Texas and he's the best. Like he will pick up your calls. I'm telling you and tell you some good, valuable information. And if he's not available, another person will be available, which I think that's his daughter. She is available for you. She can talk to you. I'm telling you, I just love these people. And of course, they're Caribbean, they're black. And I got these from a black owned store, but you can get them at a few different places. So please look it up. And it says it promotes promotes regularity and it has cramp bark and red raspberry and that's to slow down the bleeding and slow down the pain and it relieves monthly discomfort so what i do is start taking them the recommended dosage a week before my monthly my monthly visitor and then take a few on and off during it so everything can just stay in balance and I won't have to overdo it because trust me you can overdo herbs so please consult with someone that can help you that's a professional so they can steer you in the right direction this is what works for me I'm not saying it'll work 1,000% for you, but please go do your research and make an informed decision based on that. And I promise the decision you make will not disappoint you. One of the last other things I take in the morning are my women's multivitamins. You can also take prenatal vitamins because I have taken those before when the brand runs out of these. These are whole food vitamins. This is what you need to take if you're going to take a vitamin. They are healthier, they are better for you. They have lots of vegetables and fruits in them. And it's like you're taking your daily dosage of fruit and vegetables. They are daily vitamins for women. And trust me when I'm telling you, these are so good. They also have you tasting good and smelling good and feeling good they have lots of biotin in them for your hair they will make your skin healthy make your cat healthy i'm telling you i will preach to you through this whole video about all of these products but one thing we really really need to do is take our multivitamins because a regular american diet is not enough to get all of the vitamins and nutrients our body needs. We need that extra pick-me-up, whatever that extra pick-me-up might be. These would deliver all the vitamins and minerals to you. And they taste so good, I get gummies because they're easier to digest and chew. I'm not trying to be popping no pills every day. We're not doing that one. So, I get gummies, I can chew them, they're like candy to a few every day on an empty stomach so your body can absorb everything be feeling good feeling right and they're called my kind organics and they're by garden of life they're whole food gummies organic fruit and vitamin chews everything is organic and whole and just natural and healthy and this is what our body needs as as people in general but especially as women okay now let's talk about spirituality as a woman and within your womb and all that i am very very deep into my spirituality and that's where we need to be as women so we can be not only one with ourselves but when we're one with ourselves when our when our spiritual life is really good our womb health tends to be very good when you're getting closer to god when you're praying when you're listening to god and listening for god he will guide you through so many things through so much stuff and that includes your physical health i always pray and talk to god 
every single day. I write things down. I write petitions and prayers down. And one of the main petitions and prayers I've always written is to become one with my physical health to make sure I'm physically healthy. My womb is physically healthy because as women, we have so many issues within our womb and we don't even know about it. We just think it's normal. We just think it's normal to always go through a lot of pain each and every month. We just think it's normal to always be frustrated or really sad each and every month. And that's not normal at all. We think all the heavy, heavy bleeding is very normal. And I promise you that is not normal. We think it's um, normal to get a bowel odor every now and then. And that also is not normal the normal so once you really start getting close to God start talking to him and listening to him he'll guide you towards certain things and away from certain things he'll say something simple as hey don't eat that hey don't sleep with that person because another thing also soul ties are real like you'll start sleeping with a person and all of a sudden you'll notice that the small little things frustrate you you go to your favorite restaurant and run out of something you're mad and you're frustrated but they've been running out of that same thing for like years it's their most popular item and now all of a sudden you have an issue with them running out when you know you didn't have an issue at first that is a negative soul tie affecting you because some people are very um, mean-spirited some people are very just rude spirit bad spirited people and that affects who they're sleeping with and also some people just sleep around a lot like a whole lot so we don't want that energy either because that causes bacteria and other health issues STDs incurable diseases and all that we don't want that bad juju down in our cat like we just don't want it we can't have it none of that so when you really start seeking God and paying attention to him he will teach you how to te- take care of your womb not just for the, for the reason of having kids and having babies because I understand that some of us don't want kids but we want to feel good we want to be healthy and that's something we all should want and we all need in this year 2022 because when you meet that right person and you meet a person you're really attracted to and y'all start getting to do what you do you want to taste good you want to smell good don't you you want everything to look good you want to feel good you don't want to be excessively dry and feel like you can't get things done you want to hear those compliments like oh you taste good like i heard those compliments and it just It just sends your mind somewhere else. It sends you into overdrive. Like, if you know, you know. So please trust me on these tips. Start talking to God. Start consulting God. And he'll tell you the things you need to do to keep yourself healthy in each and every way. And that way you can also pay attention to her. Like, that's where most of our intuition comes from. Like, I'm telling you, she will tell you when something's wrong when something doesn't feel right she's not feeling well and tells you how to take care of yourself so please pay attention to all these tips these so please pay attention to all these life tips in this video because we need them we need to stay feeling and smelling and tasting our best we need to be healthy in this year of 2022 because there's so much stuff stacked against us. We cannot be slipping up and messing up. We got to stay the best life. And you can't be walking around saying, I'm this, I'm that, I'm a boss, I'm bad and all that. And your feminine hygiene is bad, sweetie. Like, no, get it together. Like, so if this video is going to help us all get it together. These are things I do on a daily basis or a monthly basis, depending on what I've mentioned. And this is what keeps me right, keeps me tight, keeps everything beautiful from her to my hair to my skin, everything. I feel good. I feel great. Uh, It tastes great. Like there's no complaint in the health area. And I'm telling you, 
This is not only to smell and look good, but it's to be extremely healthy internally and have healthy menstruation months. And that is what we need throughout these days to keep functioning, to keep pushing, to keep striving, to just flourish. And who doesn't want to flourish, ladies? So I'm telling you these tips for our own good. Because if you make it, if you thriving, you flourishing, then we're all thriving, we're all flourishing. So please trust me. If you have any other tips that you would like to add or share, please comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. And remember girls, keep it right, keep it tight. Bye.